I think it's hard to find people who get you and who I would call your people but who knows maybe they're trying to find you just as much as you're trying to find them so keep being yourself maybe you're gonna be a beacon of light for someone else's sailing ship and you know what no matter what happens no matter what you're going through be yourself and try as much as you can to be genuine and to bring your soul into what you're doing yeah i always found myself struggling with what i write with what i record and even with what i create and do in general when it doesn't come naturally i'll tell you what i mean so i want to do certain things whether it's that I want to be creative or I want to record for the podcast or do a photo shoot or create a work of art and in that struggle I came to realize that what really matters is that it comes from the soul and I know that sounds strange and unclear but truly that that one element the fact that it comes from the soul has always been there with what i create and and not all the things that i create just the things that feel like myself the things that i resonate with and what represent me now realizing that made me accept it more let it come naturally more and not try too hard sure try hard in the sense that you should try to put in the effort to be dedicated to try and not just shut yourself off from getting better and learning and growing and and paying attention to the details so put your soul into the things that you do try well don't try too hard don't don't stretch yourself out into an element that doesn't fit you those things are things that i'm becoming more aware as i continue this journey of mine of creating things of doing things i've been reminiscing looking back at the past few years mainly the past five years and seeing how i was how i was acting the way i was creating and and seeing the what represents me during that period of time and it got me to think that i like this person i like the person that i have been even though i've grown i've developed i've become more refined in my knowledge in my capacity in my skill but there is one element that i don't see present in the past even though it feels so familiar to me it's as if it has always been there and that element is doubt i'm always doubting myself always second guessing and third guessing and fourth guessing myself i obsess over things that end up not existing to begin with people don't even see and and when i try to do something i try way too hard Uh, so so when i was looking back i didn't see that i saw the results of me being myself of me being this person and when i thought back to it these doubts and these second guessing um they were always there it's just that It was an inner turmoil that constantly stirs within me and I'm learning to accept it and to learn how to sail it in a way if I would if I would describe it as as this this vast sea where the storm is I would say I'm learning to sail it better so that whether the turmoil is there or 
if the sea is calm, the sea within, I'd be able to do what I know and what I desire to do. And I'm, I'm doing that by paying attention to this element of being genuine to myself, of letting things flow, of not having to work too hard and plan too hard and step out into something uncomfortable and strange and weird just to get just to get this visual idea that i have in mind to become reality so it's so strange that learning to accept yourself and to let go of trying too hard makes things flow more dynamically more naturally i mean i've i've learned to do a lot of new things things that obviously when i was starting to do i didn't understand very well i've done them in a way that was wrong on on and and on a technical skill it was lacking but but back then even when i was doing them that element of confidence and it's just it's not just confidence but also natural element that i was in the zone i was being myself i was expressing myself that gave it soul that allowed my soul to be present i wasn't trying too hard i wasn't really focusing on the details where the element not the element where where the technical skills have to be absolutely precise and they have to fit this frame perfectly it's okay that the frame of my work was wobbly like this and and the the the, the result within was beautiful that's what i'm trying to visualize here so yeah putting your soul into it letting it flow naturally those things they they let you bring yourself into what you're doing and it's so it's so beautiful it's so genuine and true it's so you god knows we tend to be so hard on ourselves you you want to experience this life experience the world you want to do things that make you feel beautiful create beautifully exist beautifully share memories with those you love and you care about maybe meet new people that you learn to love and care about sometimes the most difficult thing about getting out there and going into the world is getting out of yourself god knows i've struggled so much with that god knows i've found myself always doubting myself always always in this abyss where i'm i'm thinking that i'm not good enough i'm thinking that you know what this person that i am and these things that i do they're ridiculous they're pointless they're not good not just good enough they're not good period and and I guess finding this part where you have to have your soul present in what you do, in, in, in being you, it helped me navigate through this thing that I've been dealing with. I'll give you a technical example since, since I mentioned technical stuff earlier. When I was doing my audio and video recordings something that's new to me taking a camera out going in public and doing a recording it's different from recording audio only because when it came to audio only i didn't care how the camera let's let's say this is the microphone there was no camera i didn't care how the microphone was my only focus was that the audio was good and and it was just two dimensional is the audio good yes that's it but now that it's audio and video new dimensions opened up 
And when I sit down after I do the recording and I go back to do the editing, God, I, I, I end up doing a terrible job. A lot of the work that I've done ends up being bad. The audio quality, it feels muffled and, and the video sometimes looks bad. The reason is I'm putting myself in a new environment and you know, I'm not focused entirely on the audio. So going through that, it made me frustrated. It made me feel like I'm a failure, a loser, someone who's going somewhere strange and doing strange things where no one else does. Or actually, actually, other people do. But those people that do it, and, and I'm not saying this is true, I'm saying what goes through my mind. I'm doing something that people would mock they would laugh at. The reason I'm looking back, my backpack here, there's, there's a bird next to it. I don't know if it's visible to the camera, but that's the bird and that's my backpack. Anyway, so I, I, I had this inner voice that was very, very negative and I believed it. I'm not saying that, hey, don't, don't listen to negativity, be positive. You cannot control that. You need, here, so here's the thing. Imagine your mind and your thoughts as a closed space and you have your thoughts going through it and they're speaking, they're, they're like clouds and, and each thought has its own um, let's say the content and it does interact with the world you know I'm seeing a cat my thoughts are saying I want to pet the cat probably I can pet the cat and this cat seems friendly enough with humans and you know the world is interacting with my thoughts and I can pet the cat and it reaffirms it so when negative thoughts cloud your mind and you've got a lot of clouds going on who knows you well let's put it this way you need the environment around you to reassure you to tell you and to prove to you not just say it verbally and that's it to prove to you that hey what you're doing is interesting what you're doing is giving you positive feedback and and funny enough the environment doesn't have to just interact directly with it Sometimes the environment is just, it's just negative and that's it. So a negative environment will not supply or diminish this negativity within you or, or positivity. If, if, you're, if you're having positive thoughts, a negative environment will not allow it to nurture. So what I'm saying is take care of your environment and re- evaluate it sometimes what you can do is just so much you can do more you can let's let's use strange examples all my examples are strange let's say you get out of bed you do your bed you clean your room I keep looking back I swear you take a shower clean the room dress well and you plan the day ahead maybe the week ahead and you go about your life you go to school you study you work you meet people you meet your family you buy gifts you buy food you cook you clean but there there, there are a lot of elements that are outside of your capacity some elements that are negative some elements that are not good and what do you do Sometimes all you can do is endure. Sometimes you talk to a therapist or maybe find, uh, find positive elements that can help you, such as good friends, good music, TV shows, movies, entertainment, etc., reading a book, working on projects. So you are capable of finding positive impacts that 
can supply your day with 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 things that will make the environment a healthy one makes you better and make the world around you better the environment has a huge effect on you the environment can play a role in in how you feel and how you think it isn't entirely you that can control how you feel and what you think and what do you do you fall victim to the way you think you fall victim to needing help and not finding it (sighs) even if these negative thoughts cloud you so much and they build up until there's nothing but darkness around you don't give up hope and keep trying keep sailing through the storms i mean stories of unlikely successes are all around us and there is no reason that you wouldn't be one of them there's no reason that you'd be the exception that's gonna fail even if it feels unlikely that you can make it. Don't give up. I mean, you only experience life once, so why not make it something worth experiencing? Take care of yourself. And yeah, I'll talk to you next time.